Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Alaska. Alaska is a solitaire card game uh, where the objective is to build all four suits um, up from ace to king uh, using a standard 52 card deck. In terms of setting the game up um, at the beginning, the player deals all 52 cards into seven piles, which contain one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 cards from left to right. So essentially, um, six of the piles you count down from 11 to six when setting up, the remaining card goes into its own pile. This set of piles will be referred to as the tableau. Uh, the top card of the first pile in the tableau is turned face up, um, and the remaining six piles have five cards face up each. So, five cards face up in each of the remaining tableau files, piles, um, and one card face up in the first tableau pile. This is the lone card that is left. Uh, you'll start the game off with four empty foundation piles. Um, and so it's quite an arbitrary card game. Uh, just do note that um, you'll have your five cards like so, right? Flipped up face up in each pile, and then your one face up card. In terms of playing the game on the tableau, um, you can play a card that is one rank higher or one rank lower of the same suit. Um, you can also move an entire, so let us just demonstrate that, right? One rank higher or one rank lower of the same suit. Um, so, well, I was planning on demonstrating this pile maneuver next, uh, but essentially an entire group or pile of cards can be moved as well. And so what I just said previously also applies to a group of cards, right? Um, if it is one rank higher or one rank lower of the same suit. And so what we can do is we can move this four of clubs and all the cards that come with it. Um, onto this five of clubs, right? So the four of clubs is one rank lower of the same suit. So we can move this entire pile like so. So, moving cards between tableau piles, one rank or higher or one rank lower of the same suit. Um, an empty pile in the tableau can only be filled with a king or a group of cards starting with a king. Uh, foundation piles can contain cards starting from ace, so as aces become available, um, you are allowed to place them in the foundation piles. Um, cards of the same suit can then be played on each ace in ascending order from two to king. The game is won once all cards are moved onto the foundation piles. So the rules are pretty simple, right? Just set up, remember, once again. Um, all 52 cards are dealt into seven piles. One, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. Uh, the top card of the first pile is turned face up, and the remaining six piles have five cards face up each. Uh, we just went through the rules, so we won't go through them again. Uh, but what we'll do here is we'll play a quick uh, demo round. Well, hopefully it's not quick because that means we've lost, uh, but it might be. So we have the Ace of Clubs here. We can go ahead and place it like so. What is our objective? Now we're looking for the Two of Clubs. Two of Clubs is not visible. That means it's face down here. Okay. Uh, do note that this gap um, it's just there, right? Uh, we haven't really talked about it, and it's not really going to be used here because uh, we don't really have a waste pile. So that gap is just there, um, so just ignore that. Uh, but now we're looking for the Two of Clubs. Two of Clubs is not visible, so that means it's part of the face down group of cards over here. And so now we'll have to sort of look at um, what else we could, I guess. Um, go for. So we can go for this Ace of Diamonds here. Um, so that's what we'll do. Go for the Ace of Diamonds. Um, we can also go now go for the Two of Diamonds. The Two of Diamonds is not visible and so now we're in a bit of a strange scenario. Uh, the reason being is um, we don't really have the cards that we're looking for that aren't really visible here. And so that's okay. What we can do is we can sort of try to build the piles to the to give us the most advantageous position possible. 
So now we'll sort of have to look. The six of clubs is right there, right? And my eyes are on freeing up this um, seven of spades here, I'm placing it on its uh, respective pile. So I'm going to move that eight right there. Then I'll go ahead and move the four of diamonds if I can, but I cannot. Okay. So that seven is sort of stuck there until we can move this four of diamonds. What I can sort of try to do now is. Well, do I have a three of diamonds? Um. See, that's the real question. So I want to try to move this seven. So do we have a six of spades? Six of spades is right there. Now we're just looking for a three of spades. Three of spades is right there. You can get to the three of spades. Okay. So here's the essential plan here. Okay. Let me highlight it. So... What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get this king of hearts free. To do so, we need to move the seven of spades. Now, do we have the six of spades? We do. To unlock the six of spades, we have to get rid of the two of spades. To get rid of the two of spades, we're going to need the three of spades or the ace of spades. Um, the three of spades is right there. So what we'll do is we'll have to free up the three of clubs. Three of clubs can go on the four of clubs. That means the six of hearts will then have to somehow leave and that's not going to be possible so that plan does not work out as you can see we are in quite a bad scenario here I can let us sort of think here and strategize as long as we have moves possible the game the game is not lost so Do we have the four of clubs? Yeah, it's right there. Six of clubs, yes. Can we free up the three of hearts? Or the two of hearts? No, not really any. Thing we could do here. Let us unlock the top face of card here. Maybe it will be beneficial. Not really. Not really beneficial at all. But we, what we can do is we can flip that like so. Um. Go ahead and flip that like so. Flip that like so. Flip that card right there. Now, so essentially just keep moving cards essentially. I guess that's my tip. Um, if you don't have a move possible because it seems to be working here for me. Um, and it is a strategy that I have used in many other solitaire games. So, there's five. Is there six that we can move? Oh, that's six of clubs. Just looking at the set of cards here, we do want to move it wherever we can. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Move that two right there. So we have, we got the three of diamonds here. Got the four of diamonds. Wow, this is actually somewhat hard. Um, but I don't want to give up just yet. There still are some moves possible here. I'm hoping to get all the cards face up. That way you can truly see what you need to do. How you need to do it. Um, so, move this 8 there. And move that 7. Okay. If we move that set of queen there, we unlock another ace finally. Okay, that's beneficial. Now we have to try to free up this two of spades. Let me get this queen of clubs off. Get this jack. I 
Actually, we can move that queen right there. Get that two of diamonds. Beautiful. Uh, what we can do is we can sort of try to start our own pile from king to from king. And we'll try to descend downwards because that is, I, th I, I believe, the most beneficial way to sort of play. Right? But you do want to get as many cards face up as you can. Um, it does make your life a lot easier if you do so. Uh, because you'll have more information, right? More information on how to play, more information on what you can do. Now we can go for the three of diamonds. Where is that three of diamonds? We had it right there. It's not too far. What we'll need to do is we'll have to get this four of diamonds out of the way first. And by try to get this ten of clubs off. Nope. About this four of spades, we can get it on that five of spades. We can get that five of spades on the nope. Okay, it's nine of hearts. If we get it on the ten of hearts, we do so by getting rid of the jack of hearts. We get the jack of hearts on the queen. We do that by getting the three of spades. Nope, it's a bit of a catch 22 here. Unless we can see this queen of clubs. Okay, jack. Nope. Nine of diamonds. Where's the ten of diamonds? Nowhere to be seen. The ten of clubs. Okay, we're in a bit of a bad spot here. We'll try a, bit, a couple more possibilities, but... Sometimes, if you do not play properly, you do end up getting stuck in the game. So that is what might have happened here. Uh, because you do have to think ahead with each move you make. Okay, if we can get this Queen of Clubs off somehow. Let's move this Queen of Clubs. Maybe that Ace of Hearts. Where's the Four of Hearts? Where's the Four of Hearts? Ah. Uh, that four of hearts is nowhere to be seen. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll uh, start another game here. Um, and sort of see if we can make use. Right, one more try here to sort of demonstrate how to properly play. So. Ten. Yep, it does not seem like we can sort of get too far here. Yep, so that essentially wraps up how to play Alaska. Um, I hope you enjoyed, right? And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, do remember the setups. Right, the setup is uh, the setup is um, 52 cards into seven piles. One, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards in the piles from left to right. Um, the top card of the first pile and the tableau is turned up. And the remaining six cards have five cards to face up each. And then you'll have your four empty foundation piles. You can play cards between the tableaus if they are one rank higher or one rank lower um, and of the same suit. Um, do note that if you have an empty tableau pile, it can only be filled with a king or a group of cards starting with a king. And so the game is won once all the cards are moved to the foundation piles. Uh, that wraps up how to play Alaska. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.